Hey everyone, we're back with Tactics Ogre. Patch is here with me. That's your cue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, hello everyone. We... I do it on purpose to mess with Botley. We cut from <laughs> yeah, the awkward silence. That's great viewing. Ha 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 ha. We cut straight from the battle we were in to this cutscene. So that's why the episode is starting quite suddenly. We are talking with the last tenant of the <coughs> resistance, of the liberation front. The warrior that I can never pronounce their names correctly. Seria. She's telling us about her father, who the audience saw, but Butley Pavel, uh, Butley Prancet, no, Pavel, <laughs> I can't even remember the names, how bad is that? Uh, Isn't it Abuna Prancet? Yeah. I think you are correct, sir. I remember this game better than you, and I haven't even played it. You're doing well. <laughs> oh, Prancet Pavel. Yeah, there we go, so we're we both. Are. Butley Pavel, that's right. I was right when I said the first thing and then I doubted myself. Good job. So does that mean Abuna Donatello? His name is Donatello <laughs> something else? Apparently. I feel um, disrespectful that, you know, that we never bothered to learn his surname. Maybe you should go look it up. Yeah. I'll go ask him. That's something I like in games like this, is when you get like a camp and you can go around and talk to your NPCs. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> not a lot of them implement it very well. I remember um, in my brief play of Dragon Age, they had a fun one of that. Oh yeah, they definitely have a lot of stuff like that. Bioware is pretty... If anything, that's where Dragon Age tends to fail though. They, is it? It gets so script now. Like, they're funny and they're interesting, but it's like do a main story mission and then go and talk to everyone like it's almost Formula 8 oh yeah because everyone has a unique new thing to say after every main story plot like plot mission which is fine yeah. but it's like sometimes you feel like you're going through the motions I noticed it a lot in like Mass Effect in 2 and 3 especially you do a mission yeah, and then you that... do a lap of the whole ship and then you go back to the missions it's, uh, <laughs> uh, I've had that problem before. Um, I played Dynasty Warriors 8, and it had a similar thing. Before each battle, there was a camp, and it would have a few different officers, and any imported characters would usually have some sort of unique dialogue. But um, it sort of became, became a chore to go around and talk to every single person. Well, it's like, it's just like people aren't, it feels like your conversations aren't necessarily hinged around what's going on if they're formulaically inserted at every every convenient like major plot point if you know what I mean it's like why does every also character does, have to does, have every like something unique to say for every mission that you went on I don't know. yeah it, it doesn't feel natural because mm -hmm. if you are a commander of a higher ranking position you don't have time to talk to every single person sometimes even on your you know closest council what you'd do instead of that is you'd sit around a table and bring up agendas you don't have time to go have a one-on-one -on -one with everyone. Right. That's something that does bother me. See here, um, Seria was trying to help us with ideas of where our father might be in a bit of backstory. She refused to serve. Like, under us, she didn't want to work for the Duke, so she did not want to come with us. This is about the third or fourth time she's rejected <laughs> working with us. Apparently we're so evil, you know, saving a life. Is the second character to think our choice was bad. But after us, <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, a Dark Knight Slayer. If you see the titles in the top right there, that's cool. Congratulations, you slew the Dark Knight. So I mean, you yeah. almost lost your party, but <laughs> totally worth it. So we're looking at the map where we were. It's just a reminder because it's been a little while. It might not be in terms of uploads, but in terms of us recording. Now we report back yeah. to Duke Runway. Brownie Runway? I don't know. Dun 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 dun. I don't know how we knew about Bozek. I can't remember if that was part of the story plot. 
I'm a little surprised we call him my lord. I thought we would have called him something a bit more informal, but I guess we've sworn fealty to him. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be quite formal now. <laughs> Why did you engage them? I love his eyes in that shot. It's so, so wrong at this res. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's something wrong with him. So the treaty we signed with the Dark Knights was really to keep them off their backs because they work for Bakram and we needed to yep. deal with the Galgastani first. Oh, I didn't realize Vice was Bozak. I thought we were talking about that other Dark Knight, so... <laughs> God, I'm so out of touch with all the story in this. Would you? <laughs> They're really angry that we saved someone's <laughs> life. I mean, the Liberation Front probably did not do any favors to the Duke, so... No. You blame him for being like, why did we waste troops saving them when they were out to get us? But... Oh well. if you, you would try and settle this with Ink and Quill. That's right. Quill, the <coughs> superhero, is gonna go deal with it, right? <laughs> is that one of the guys? Is that, a, is that Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> I have no idea. We raised the price on his head to 10,000 goths. Remember when it was 6,000? It was like a record fee. <laughs> I don't know where he gets all his money. I guess he just taxes everyone. Remember when he gave us like 30,000 to start? <laughs> and here he's like, ah, oh, 10,000 for here. It's like, dude, you were like in captivity when we started this game. How do you just keep getting money every time? He takes it from his enemies that he conquers? He must do. You must pillage it off their cold, dead bodies. Port Asseton. So that's way back at the end. Yeah. The far end, we have to travel the whole country. Tells us why we're going there specifically. Yeah, here we go. There's someone taking ever. There's someone taking people out over there. Quote a unquote, party. someone. A party. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's kind of good. This is where I like the story. There's a lot of moving parts. See, we don't know what the sure. Bakram are doing. We haven't seen them for ages. The Dark Knights. We kind of know they've got a thing going with this, with the Arabuna, our Arabuna our father, and whatever Mana Floor is. We know that Vice is on the run because we did wrong by him, or everyone did wrong by him in his eyes. We know that uh, Syria will probably go and try and rebuild her front because she, excuse me, she hates us. We know that RSL left, and we don't know if that's relevant to the story. Because remember, I haven't been down this path. Oh, there we go. Zenobian Knight, Sir Gildas. You remember Sir Gildas, right? Remember him and Mirrodin, the two white knights, and one of them joined yeah. us, but he lost his mate? That's the guy that um, took the poison blade and let us get away, Gildas. Neat. So we probably feel like we owe him a debt. But my point is, yeah, we have a lot of moving parts, and we're not quite sure who and what and how, you know? So, it could be anyone down there. So that's. Really I have a cool. question. Sure. <laughs> Why is our sister at this war council? Uh, probably because we demanded it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we demand such a thing? Because we're supposed <laughs> to be like two peas in a pod and we always stick together. Except for the fact that she doesn't come fight with us anymore. Exactly. If anything, they should be showing like a further further absence. Your first council should have had her next to you and then the next one she would have been one step away. Alright, here we go. We'll, since we're talking with her, we'll tell, her to, we'll tell her to get off the council then. Yeah. We'll set the we'll set the record straight, right here, right now. Oh, we're standing <laughs> on the conveniently nicer tiles. Ah, <laughs> uh, I remember this room. Ah, uh, she here. is petty. I don't even like her. What does the great hero need of me? <laughs> Stop being a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, I came to tell you that your father's alive and you're being a bitch. <laughs> What? 
I have a theory. What theory? I think Kachua is the necromancer Nibeth. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's so not... not turned. <laughs> I love this. We rescue him. That's not what our boss told us to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, she is You're trying really to make an enemy better. out of everyone. Very better. What do you mean? <laughs> so practical about it. <laughs> dun dun dun. You don't know that. The big reveals are big. No, Butley. Hmm. I am your father. <laughs> uh, that one time when we, we find someone who says that to me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, that line is so funny. In all the world, you're the only family I have. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. God, she's so bitter about stuff that doesn't... This is the thing that... I don't know. I get that she doesn't like what we do, but she's taking that as, like, we can never reconcile. Ooh. That's not fair. Vice betrayed us. Yeah, you remember when he, like, stabbed us and shot people in my team and... Well, you know what? There's this great way to get friends. Just go marching out into the world <laughs> and fight battles, and randomly people just jump on your side and be like, hey, can S I be your especially friend? Especially after you beat them and you spare them, and then they're part of your team, right? <laughs> that didn't work with Vice. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get it. I was mocking the emotions, but I get it. She's worried that, yeah, she's getting more and more isolated, you know? The apparently um, apparent father. Um, left her, even though that wasn't his Quite fault. Awkward. Vice, one of her best buddies, left her, and now we're getting emotionally <laughs> wrapped up into something, and she's worried she, we might leave her as well, so... I kind of understand that. Kind of serious. Anyway, that was a... pretty much just story-driven thing, and we waffled through most of it. <laughs> but um, I enjoyed that, actually. I kind of like it. It's only like... 10-15 minutes of story building in amongst hours and hours of combat, so I kind of liked it. Um, yep. We've actually done a fair bit of story. It does. It feels like a lot, um, a lot of gameplay to me because I had to do that Dark Knight fight many, many times <laughs> to, to actually win. Um, <laughs> winning is not the problem. Saving Seria is the hard part. But um, now we've got a fairly linear like direction to go to the port, and we'll do that. So there'll be a lot more combat and fighting and we might actually be able to pick some topics and talk about them instead of getting bogged down in all the story <laughs> although the story's kind of cool so I don't find it that bad but we need to get the balance right anyway <laughs> any parting words to our viewership of not many at the moment but hi and thank you for watching everyone <laughs> uh, thanks for watching I guess is all <laughs> alright guys well we will leave it at that and we shall see you next time cheers